A mother claims her child, a freshman in high school, is being discriminated against because the child is transgender. Now that parent said her child is also disabled and faces a 15-minute trip out of class for a challenging trip to a restroom on a different floor. News Center 7's Mike Campbell spoke with the student's parents and to Fairborn School administrators about the issue. The parents of this student say in the last two years of middle school, there seemed to be no problem finding accommodations for their student. And the first three months of the first year at the high school went well too, until one day in mid-December. Was confronted by a janitor, told they couldn't use the restroom. Amanda Flogger told me her child had been using a teacher's staff restroom on the second floor where all the students' classes are. But over a two-day period in December, a janitor and then another man that's both a coach and teacher made it clear that would stop, despite one of the students' classroom teachers escorting the student there. The teacher came out and escorted them to the bathroom, the staff bathroom, and then the coach proceeded to get in the teacher's face. Flogger said her physically disabled transgender child came home in tears. Now her child, who uses a cane or wheelchair depending on the day, faces a 15 minute trip downstairs and back up anytime a restroom is needed. Black and white, clear as day, they're discriminating. The Fairborn Schools superintendent was not available for an interview Monday, but did tell me, quote, the Fairborn City School District does not allow any students to use staff restrooms. The district allows students to use the appropriate restroom according to the law. The student uses the bathroom of the sex they identify with. For them to have to worry about these battles at school, they should be worrying about school. I mean, my student is a AB honor roll, all advanced classes kind of kid. Flogger showed me paperwork from her children's doctors, psychologists, and psychiatrists, all stating the child is not currently comfortable at school using the restroom of the sex they identify with. Flogger told me the school suggested a restroom in the nurse's office, but she said that restroom is still on the first floor, again making for a 15-minute trip and too much missed classroom time. We're not asking for, you know, the world. We're asking for one bathroom on each floor that they could go use the bathroom. It's not clear if the parents, the student, and school administrators will be able to reach a solution to this issue that works for all sides. What is clear is that almost every district in our area will likely soon face these same type of issues. In Fairborn, Mike Campbell, News Center 7.